Hello everyone! Super exciting video for you guys today. Cloudberries was nice enough to send me a puzzle. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it when they reached out to me. I have so much to tell you guys about this one and I cannot wait to get into it. So, let's break this bad boy open. Hey everyone! Okay, so, really exciting news today. Cloudberries was nice enough to send me a puzzle. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe when they reached out to me. I, was, I almost like, I looked at the email and I'm like, huh? And, and I, I kind of read it back a couple times because Karen Puzzles works a lot with those guys. And to have them reach out to me, I was like, whoa, is this real? It was one of those, I don't believe it moments. Yeah. And they even gave me the option to pick what puzzle I wanted. Now, like, of course, the lady I was dealing with, she gave me a link to their website and she kind of suggested whale. But as I was looking through them, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to pick. I like too many of these. I'm just going to take your suggestion or we're going to be here all day. <laughs> um, so they were nice enough to send me this puzzle. They want me to do a quick little review of it, let you guys know what I think. As always, it'll be a totally honest review. And I mean, like, I've heard nothing but good things about these guys. So I really don't anticipate that there's going to be any issues. Um, looking at the box art, I'm already excited about it. The thing I, uh, the different thing about Cladberries and one, I did not know they were out of the UK. When I got my tracking number for this thing, I was like, well, that's a well-traveled puzzle. I kind of, for whatever reason, it was so stuck in my head that they were USA, but they are not. <laughs> that was my fun fact of learning through this. The thing I like about their art is it's, it's consistently these muted tones that normally I wouldn't like. I'm normally a very vibrant person as the kind of sort of probably figured but there's something about the way they do their art that I find very calming and relaxing that I just like as a whole so this is whale is super cute I cannot wait to break this open and I can't wait to do all the cool stuff with like the close-up cam and all that good stuff for you guys one thing I should mention something really cool that we also started um it, I kind of got the idea from a puzzle Casey got me for my birthday. I have such a hard time replacing certain puzzles like the dragon puzzle because it takes a lot of time and research to find them if you don't necessarily know the name and brand of the puzzle. So we are going to start dropping links to Amazon puzzles, um, the ones that I do, if, they're re if I can find them at a reasonable price for you guys. And I'm going to drop you a link that like, hey, this is $500, go buy it. No. Um, if I find them at a reasonable price right now, just the American and Canadian Amazons, so sorry, UK and Australia, you may come later. Um, but yeah, so check out the affiliate links in the description um, if you guys are interested in purchasing this puzzle for yourselves. But yeah. For now, let's get into it. Camera flip. Which one? Um, the. What's up? No, no. Um, What's up? Yeah, might as well start. I got nothing to say about the box at the moment. Maybe as we get into it a little bit more. Rawr! <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. Hello. Hmm. That's so cute. Maybe do a close up of that. Oh my god. You guys. I didn't think I had anything to say about the things in the box, but they write you a cute little poem. Oh my goodness. Is that too blurry? Can they see that? It's a little blurry. Pull back a little bit. More. There you go. You can read it? I, well, I can read it, but okay. someone reading it on a phone might not be able to see it. Okay. So, you guys. Um, it's really hard when I can't see what I'm doing necessarily. Okay, hopefully uh, I'm holding this in the right spot. But they write you a cute little poem. It says, you're holding a special puzzle, one that's different from the rest. Sustainably sourced, expertly cut, and designed to be the best. Feeling stuck, missing a piece, or simply want to chat? Just send us a quick message. It's really as simple as that. That's hilarious. Like, I actually really like how they did that. That's funny. Um, what a unique way like, hey, if you're missing a piece, okay. um, oh, yeah, they don't need a close-up cam of this. Holy smokes, this thing's huge. Look at this. It's a nice little poster. Oh, my goodness. Well, we could add that to the wall and give it color. That's so cute. I know I probably have like 8,000 posters, but 
we will add that to the wall. That's enormous. I guarantee you the puzzle is not that big. I bet she is exactly that big. You think so? I bet she's a 500 big. piece puzzle. You think a 500 piece puzzle is this big? Yep. Well. I bet she's exactly that big. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good with spatial <laughs> orientation and all that good exactly. stuff. I am pretty terrible at that. I will be the first to admit. But in any case, I guess we'll find out. Okay. Let's get this set up for them so they can see it well. Yeah, they can see that good. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. I actually really like that little poem. That was so cute. I felt like I was doing a Dr. Seuss puzzle or something. Okay, that right now. Alrighty. Oh, is it bright enough? Should I turn on the lights? Ah, my poster. All right, you guys, so we have our lovely piece pile, which at this point mostly consists of just the top pieces left, as you can see, like all the dark, dark blue stuff here. Um, so my original intention, and you guys know this about me, I'm a little bit of a scatterbrain here. I had full intentions of starting with this lovely um, bottom part here, because the gradient looked super easy. But after I finished pulling out all those lovely pieces, putting them where I wanted them, I totally abandoned ship on that, as you know I do, and started with the whale and the things in the sky. Now I knew these guys would be pretty easy, but they were really fun to put together. Um, I really like the color scheme actually. Um, one thing I notice when I do this, when I get all, oh I'm going to do that and then I move into this, um, somehow by sorting your pieces for something you intend to work on, but actually work on something else. It's like you've inadvertently made it easier on yourself in a way, because really you know you're only left with what's over here, realistically in my case, or it might be in your sorting tray or whatever it is you use. Um, one thing I've noticed, and let's go up here, um, so some of the pieces look sort of right, as you can see, but they're not. So it's, um, it's a puzzle where certain pieces can fit in different homes. And uh, honestly, I don't mind that so much when puzzles are like that. I think it's kind of cool. It adds a layer of difficulty. It does annoy some people though. So a fair warning heads up. If you're in, if you're not into that kind of puzzle, you may find some pieces like that in this brand. Um, the other thing I really like so far is it's all very matte pieces, which I always appreciate when it's nice overhead lighting. Um, and it makes for less glare. And yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. <laughs> My intention to do the purple kind of fell by the wayside and uh, yeah, here we are with a half finished whale that I intended to leave to the end. Oopsie! <laughs>
All right, everyone, into the close-up cam again. Oh, hey, it looks like the uh, the camera moved again, I think. All right, everyone, so I was about to start the top part earlier. As you can see, I've got the moon in there, but uh, I kind of changed my mind. I was like, no, no, I sorted these pieces for a reason, and I put together the bottom part. So... Now, it's good to go, super pretty. I'm really liking the color scheme in this, it's just beautiful. Um, all in all so far, no complaints. Again, the only thing I've really noticed is that uh, some of the pieces will fit in spots they don't necessarily go, but if you like this for an added challenge like I do, honestly, it's a really good puzzle. Okay, into what I'm sure will be the hardest part, because there is like no variation in that color. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so you guys, we have a very special surprise for you at the end of this puzzle, which is now. I think a lot of you are really going to like it. Let's hope it works out. <laughs> Alright you guys, last piece, all done. Yeah. Isn't it so pretty you guys? Oh my goodness. I do a scan of the... Oh I just love that. I really like the, um, the gradient in it. Okay. Alright you guys, it is done. What do you think? Got the whale and the kites, the really pretty sky, water, mountain type thing. Oh. If I turn it this way, maybe we don't get the full image. Ah, oh no. You gotta make someone get sick. <laughs> Not trying to, so sorry. Okay, there we go. Mostly the full image. I hope you guys like it. All right, let's flip back to the max cam. Max cam, max cam. Okay, you guys, that was a ton of fun. Um, as you guys could probably tell, this was my first Cloudberries puzzle. Is the camera tilted? It's it's up a bit. <laughs> better. That's better there. Okay. So, this was my first Cloudberries puzzle. Until they reached out, I had never ever done one of these before. I had only ever seen people like the Casual Puzzler and Karen do them. They had definitely intrigued me, especially for their pictures. Like, at first I was kind of, mm, not my style, a little too muted. But as I got into them more and saw more images of them, especially their gradient with all the circles, that one was a strong contender for me to ask for as well. But I figured I would take their suggestion and branch out a little bit. Um, Honestly, it, yeah, like at first the colors for me were like, no, but the more I looked at them, the more I like how calming they are. Like, I just like the color schemes that they choose. Um, all in all, I have very good things to say about this puzzle. I thought the little poem was adorable. <gasps> oh, hey, and, um, I'm going to prove you wrong about this poster being the same size as the puzzle. Oh, oh, no. Are you? Oh. <laughs> well, it, I didn't expect that. Okay. Okay, okay. Like, he, as soon as you put the frame okay, around, well, like, how can you not tell that's I can't. Sentence? I still couldn't. Um, anyways, he was right. Don't tell, don't say that too loudly. Um, 
I really like the cute little poster that came with it. Um, honestly, I might hang it up at some point because I really do like the art. Um, the piece quality was good. It's uh, It kind of rivals Ravensburger and all that good stuff. Um, actually, sturdy enough that I can pick it up and no bad things are happening. That's always a good sign. Uh, matte pieces, so less glare, very good, especially if you've got overhead lighting like we do. Um, all the pieces click together very, very well. There are some tricky ones in there, which makes for particular difficulty when you reach things like up here and there's very little gradient. But again, if you are like me and a little bit of variation, that way it doesn't bother you too, too much, you like the challenge, um, I think you'd really enjoy this puzzle. It's not overt, like a piece of the whale wouldn't fit in the, um, in like the bottom here or something like that. It just makes for a little bit more challenge when you're doing the border slash the gradient. Other than that, like, uh, there's really good things to say about it. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. I, uh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I sorted out the bottom and then I was like, I'm going to save the whale for last. No, no, no. Whale first. Whale first. So if you guys are looking for a tip, I would recommend trying that. I mean, if you sort one thing out, maybe don't necessarily work on it right away. Try working on what you're left with, especially if you're working with a lower piece count puzzle. Um, that's as much as pro advice as I could possibly give you, because I'm not even sure if that is correct. That's just what goes on in my head, I think. <laughs> I never really know. Anyways, a big, big, big thank you to Cloudberries for sending me this puzzle. I will treasure it. I will definitely be interested in buying more of your stuff in the future because, like, it, it you grew on me. You really did. Um, it, honestly, by starting this channel, like the Hexmars review and this review, I really like that it's gotten me to branch out into brands other than like Ravensburger and Cobble Hill and just whatever I could find at the thrift store. Um, I like that it's making me look at things like that, and hopefully you guys too. If you want to purchase this puzzle for yourself, the Amazon link is listed below. Um, it will just be the American one in this case. The Canadian one did not have this puzzle, oddly enough. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Cloudberries. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night, everyone.